following week, well, I say it's the following weekend, but that video never saw the light of day because something started happening with my SD card, so I had to scrap last week's video. Uh, in last week's video, I got one picture that I'm really proud of. I'll put on screen now. Um, I'm very proud of this picture because it took me a long time to get it, and for most, I imagined it would just look like a random picture of a tree, um, like most of my pictures, but for me, this picture meant a lot because I tried for a very long time to get a picture of that specific tree, and, um, you know, it's just never worked out. It's never, uh never all came together like I had the framing down but didn't have the light or I had the light but didn't couldn't frame it correctly uh, yesterday uh, not yesterday but last weekend uh, I think I got that picture I filmed it um, but like I said my that SD card that I was using I need to replace it it just is anyway um, but at the end of that video <clears throat> I said that I was going back this weekend to get a, 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 just a certain picture of this tree that's right I mean it's not even maybe two minutes from where I park so all I'm gonna have to do is park walk down to the tree wait for the light take the picture um, I don't plan on taking any more um, I hope that wasn't too loud through all of that Okay, so back here. Like I said earlier, I um, had the opportunity to take this picture last weekend and I didn't take it. Kind of wishing I just would have. Um, don't know if the light's going to hit it the same way. Maybe, but it's a waiting game at this point. It was an hour after sunrise last week and I've got technically 20 minutes before that point. So we'll wait it out. Here, I'll show you. is all you see and um, uh, 
prior I've been taking pictures and um, I'll have everything set up and I'll just be either waiting for light or just enjoying the the um, the morning and time and everything and I'll just be waiting and standing around and I'll have my tripod set up and just to the right or just to the left or completely behind me there'll be another picture and it'll literally just come out of nowhere it just comes very quickly and sometimes you just got to be aware enough of your surroundings anytime you go into the woods alone or you know um, you need definitely be aware of your surroundings and pay attention but especially whenever you're doing any type of photography is whenever you got your for me at least whenever I've got my eye on a specific subject and then I turn around and there's something right beside it sometimes I can get so focused on that one specific thing that I was doing that I don't take the time to look around a little bit so there's one and I'm gonna have another one Those three pictures have all been uh, of trees. The first one was on actually on the YouTube. It was my very first video that I did. Um, I got that one, and then the sec the second one was um, at a water management area, uh, and I drove out there and, and got that picture, and it was really good. And I want to get that one um, printed. And then the third one was the one I showed on the way here in the van when I was driving. Uh, all three of those actually, let me go ahead right now and take a chance to post that other one that I was talking about. So here it is. Um, this one was really, was really, it was a really fun morning. Um, I saw, actually saw a bunch of wildlife there um, and the light was hitting that just right and I took several pictures of that and to me that was just the best one um, that, I, that I got. But one thing that I struggled with in all three of those pictures was my focus point was a tree. So the first one was two trees right beside one another. And the second one was that one that you just seen where it was the orange leaves and the tree off to the right a little bit. And then the third one, the main focal point, is the tree, um, the branches and everything. And what I've always struggled with and what I big time struggled with in those three was separating my focal point, my, my the tree itself that I'm taking a picture of from the background. And that's a really hard for me around here because if you want to take a picture of a green leaves that are green or, you know, um, even sometimes when they change colors, um, it's difficult to separate that from the background. And sometimes they just all kind of blend together and it just is a cool idea, but since there was no separation between the background and the tree you're taking a picture of, it just all kind of blends together, then it just looks like a big green mess. Um, but this, what I'm taking, what I'm waiting for now, I've been searching for this for a long time um, and by a long time I mean at least a year where I have a clear tree that's completely separated from the background because the background is dead trees it's still somewhat winter time in Florida and it's completely separated there's a you can completely tell that you have the green tree and the shape of it and everything is amazing and then right directly behind it is just gray white sort of black dead trees and I've completely cut out the sky so now at this point I'm just waiting for the light to hit it and as we're speaking the light is kind of hitting so we're gonna take a quick picture all right here we go two second timer still using this remote 
shutter because with this tripod I'd have to have a 10 second timer to get completely get it to stop shaking before you take the picture so we are definitely getting a little bit of light on the tree now so I'm gonna take here take a few images here And it would be absolutely amazing if this went to, wow, we're getting, I'm sorry, but we're getting some really awesome light here. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. I'm taking, there's a, several YouTube channels that I like watching. their content and pretty much all of them I'm ripping off completely right now because this is exactly what they do in their videos like to the T but for me and getting started with YouTube and making videos I just felt like doing something that I was comfortable with and for me doing exactly what I watch and I know how to do somewhat um, it'll really get me started help me get started in taking uh, YouTube videos and stuff so if you're watching this and thinking I'm completely ripping off those people I'm not denying it but I'm saying I'm doing it to help me <laughs> So that was the image that I saw last week. The one last week, I will say, the way the light was hitting it was a little differently. And um, I'm not going to necessarily say I preferred it m more to the way the light was hitting this tree this morning, but it was just as good. It was different, but it was just as good. Um, this morning, the light was almost hitting the back side of the tree. And it was making the back side of the tree glow. And then you had like the front of it was dark. So it was like, I don't know, it was really cool. But last weekend it was more so like the first picture in my first video where there was like a distinct line going straight to the center of it, cutting the image in a quarter. That was kind of how the light was hitting that tree uh, last week. And it was pretty neat. But I will say that I'm super happy with the fact that I did come back and get that image and I'm also super happy with the fact that um, it was sunny I was able to and proud of myself for seeing seeing something like that saying hey I want to come back and get that and I came back and got it and I'm proud of it so all right headed back to the van and actually when I get back to the van have something I want to talk about so uh, for the next probably two and a half hours, I'll ramble about something that's completely not important, uh, but um, you know, feel like it would be pretty good to say. All right. So, uh, what I wanted to say was, I've got this camper van, and um, I'm gonna completely change the back of it, rip everything out, and have a, hopefully I have a kitchen and a bedroom back there, and hopefully uh, I'll bring the camera along. The, the whole way and um, so you can see it from start to finish and then me and Malia my wife will start camping out of it hopefully we'll start filming make some videos just for the fun of it because we really enjoyed uh, when we went camping in it and uh, filmed that video and hopefully I'll put a couple clips up of that at the end of this video uh, so also I just wanted to say that over this next year, I really want to upgrade a lot of my camera stuff. I really want to upgrade my portfolio uh, because the ultimate goal is to do this full time, is to do this as a full time career. And I really think I'm capable of doing it. Just got to put my uh, full attention and dedication to it. So, you know, it's only been a year really since I, I started taking, you know, really taking my time and taking my images um, and, and really thinking about it and really hoping that one day uh, 
it becomes a full-time gig. So hopefully this year is going to be a big year for me. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Hoping, well, I'm hoping it's a big year for us, me and my uh, wife. Um, for me in landscape photography and for us in our you know, adventure into um, full-time you know, photographers, videographers, everything. Uh, you know, we, we want to cover a very broad uh, spectrum. Something keeps popping back there. What's going on back there? Oh, I had, we had a pageant. We, my wife is a pageant director. She had a pageant this weekend, and that's why I have, my van is full of pageant stuff, so. But anyway, basically I just wanted to say that about this van, and I wanted to say about my goal moving onward so hopefully I we're gonna take a couple trips and I don't want to set a deadline but this year I don't want to set a, like when I said that I don't want to set like a specific date or month I just want to say sometime this year I want to release the passion and the prog progress project um, hopefully I can get a little bit more than just trees, but there's probably going to be one or two that are trees in the in the, in the um, project. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm actually going to, well, you can watch my first video, and that all tells you everything about that project. So, and I have a really cool idea on how to present it and how I'm going to do all of that, so it should be really fun, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully finishing that, so. This is not, my first couple of YouTube videos were like super awesome. I had a bunch of walking clips and B-roll and just awesome. But this one was just, it was really straight to the point. Um, in the beginning of the video, I told you what I was going for, what I was doing. I got that picture and I got another picture that I'm really proud of. So, um, yeah, pretty good day so far. All right, see you later. All right. No extensions. All my natural hair. How long it is now? Just have to wow. it. Amazing. It's so light, you could like the wind blows it and all the cars will fall out. Wow. <laughs> Where are we going? Better? Yes. Good. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, Three River State Park in Sneed, Florida. Wow. Uh, hopefully we're gonna see um what is it called again? Lake Seminole? It's, we're staying on the lake. Okay, we're at Lake Seminole where a famous murder case happened. Okay, yeah, let's just start. Oh my gosh, it's a little chicken. I can't wait till we have chickens. I think we'll have a, that'll be really nice to go out there and mess with them and I have my little tortoise over there on the other side of the backyard and Winston run around and maybe a few cats I don't know I think we need a bigger yard <laughs> See out here, or is it all just bright? Okay. Yeah, so we just got here, and you can still see the just, I mean, everything is destroyed still from Hurricane Michael. October of 2018 was when this happened, and it's now going on the end of February 2020, and it still looks like this. I'm not saying anything bad about them not doing anything because there's just so much and I'm used to it. So I'm saying. The park ranger woman came in and said that they have lost the pipes coming in and out every day and they messed up the roads and they're going to eventually have to. Um, it might be a long time.
actually our first time staying in the van, in the van but also just in general anywhere. Together. Yeah, camping. Have you stayed anywhere overnight yourself? Like a camp? Yeah. No. The only time I ever have camped, quotation marks. I would say it's not really camping. It was in my friend Amber's cow field when we were like 10 years old. We camped for what? a day. What? Yeah. I guess me and my buddies camped out in the cow pasture before. That was pretty cool. They, we, I, if I can remember the story correctly, I think we had a tent, but the tent was only had like one or two poles or, or something. It was something crazy, and then it, the tent ended up collapsing. And so I think we didn't sleep in the tent. Okay, you can turn it off. This is a so when Zach booked the place, he, he selected the small campsite, but I don't think that's an option because literally you can see it's completely full here. Um, this is actually the, one of the larger ones. So we have the water hookup, and you have your electrical stuff here, and over here on the other side you have a nice picnic table. But there is <laughs> here's the van. It literally you can fit four of our vans in here. He has nicknamed this the stud, by the way. So here is a clothesline right here. Reference that. That's awesome. This kind of is a place meant for people who are going to stay a long time. I think so. There's a, some people over there that have a satellite dish um, hooked up, a direct TV satellite dish. So they're probably been here for a minute. And there's also a fire pit. Mm -hmm. And they have wood up there at the little place that we went to. And that's it. That's the campsite. What do you think? Pretty good. Exactly what we wanted. We have our next trip. We actually are going to try out the Disney campgrounds at Fort Wilderness. I'm really excited about that because you still get to book fast passes and everything. But we're probably going to go somewhere else before then because that's in May. So a few more places. Um, so we're excited. We're going to do a bunch of different campsite reviews. All right. So we just got back from walking somewhat of a trail. And then we walked on the road a little bit. And it's been really nice. Yeah, we didn't take our camera. Yeah, we were total geniuses. It's, yeah, we're still learning. We're still new at this. Um, but it was very nice and relaxing, and it was kind of hilly, so that was nice. Um, we seen a lot of flowers, a lot of trees. We saw three deer total. That was really cool. He got a couple pictures of them. I don't know if they turned out or not. Nope. Nope, they didn't. That's just how deer roll, though. We're waiting to be able to actually register still. Um, they Parking only, registration, is yeah, that what you said? Yeah, they only do it for 30 minutes at a time, like tw twice a day. Um, and then we got to go buy some more water because the one that we bought was jacked up. So, but yeah, yeah. so far so good. Do you have any comments you would like to add? Um, it's very nice. It would be a lot different if there wasn't as much damage from the hurricane still. Um, but that's everywhere in Northwest Florida. Yeah, if you go back towards this, this camp is towards is close to Tallahassee. If you go back towards like Pensacola, um, that would probably be a little bit better. But um, this place is just it's still really damaged and everything. So we really need to try to camp. At, I want to try Blackwater River. Yeah. We do Mitsukola. There's yeah. a lot to that park. We actually took some engagement pictures there. Oh, and yeah, okay. That's really, it's out, it's out in the woods. That place is out there. It's There's nothing out. around it. No service. Yeah. Ways we, out. We should try that one. And what else do we want to do? We should probably stay at Ponce de Leon one time just to. I would like to stay at Ponce de Leon. I would like to stay uh Blackwater and also Fallen Waters. Mm. <laughs> they just redid all of Falling Waters, um, like the walkways and everything. They just completely redid all of it. It's totally different now. 